Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to go over my Benzinga and Weeble 4AM scalp setup. Um, I use Weeble for my broker for 4AM scalping. Uh, it seems to work for me so far. I use it for just a really small cash account. Um, I'm not trading large size at this time of day because uh, there's not a lot of liquidity. But what I am doing is I'm just trying to scalp highs, uh, get myself a little cushion. Um, I, sometimes I'll go right back to sleep after I get myself a little scalp. That way I have a cushion when I wake up and I can use that cushion for my trading. So um, what I have here is you can see on the page, this is my Weeble chart right here. And you can see I have a, a few different indicators and it's pretty nice clean charts. I'm going to be fixated mostly on the volume down here and the price action. Not so much these indicators, although they do will tell me, they will tell me, excuse me, they will tell me if there's a trend um, and which, or if it's oversold, something like that. But really at 4 a.m. I'm looking just for price action and volume paired together. And I want a stock to be making new highs. So on the right side here, this is the chart and Weeble. Then on the right side here, I have an active trade bar set up and I have a few different buttons and you can actually click on this here and you can change this now this is a simulated account for the uh for an example but normally in your normal weeble account you'd have a little plus sign or a button here that says add button and so i would add different buttons and different share size um, or percentages that i want to scale out or buy into on stock so we just go ahead and right here we have the buy on the bid buy on the ask and a few sell into profit so i have a sell half the position at 50 percent I have sell 75% of the position as well. So down here we have, um, you can click this, you can change this to a percentage or you can change this to a share size. And if you click this little box, it's gonna change all of these buttons to it. So say you wanna go by share size and you wanna buy maybe a thousand shares at a time, then you would just type it in here and you can do that. So once you click that, you'll have your buttons available. So then I have a positions tab open here just to see what positions I have available so I don't forget. Um, sometimes I'll be playing one, two, three stocks at a time, and sometimes it's hard to keep up. So this will just keep me in the loop of what positions I have available or open at that time. So we go ahead and buy, then the position is going to pop in here. This is again, a simulated account. Apparently I was messing around and I made uh, $98,000 on a trade with OP. So I think I'll go ahead and cash that out on Monday morning and get that uh, paper money. But Again, we have paper amount here. This is the paper account detail. Normally this would be my account details on my uh, normal uh, brokerage or Webull account. And just to tell me how much money I have available, basically if because it's a cash account, I wanna know how much cash I have available. So I'm revolving cash using it over and over. So, um, so that's it. So that's the, that's the meat and potatoes of Webull. You have the chart, you have the active trade, you have the positions tab and the, um, the account details. So that's it for that. Then down here, you're going to see this is the Benzinga news feed. I don't often use this at 4 a.m. because there's not a lot of news that's going to come out at 4 a.m. A lot of times I'm just playing price action and volume and I just want to see something making you hot. So the tools that you can see in the right hand corner are going to help with that. So I have the day trade chat open often uh, to see ideas from a few of the other guys at 4 a.m. because they have some really great ideas. And then we have um, the signals on the right, and I have the scanner on the left. That's how I have mine set up. So, and you can see that they're kind of aligned here. So I'm looking for this name to correlate with this name. So I wanna see something on the right making new highs. I also wanna see on the left uh, making a, uh, a change in price. And this is gonna be right now, it's uh, filtered by change from previous close, but I would normally have this from change in the last one minute because I want to see what's making the most change in the last one minute while also making new highs. Um, as long as I pull up the chart and those two things are to, uh, combined, a lot of times that's where I'll probably be looking to take my scalps. Now, maybe you're looking for a pullback, maybe you're looking for uh, for it to be oversold, or maybe you're looking to short it on the, on the way back down. Um, and that's fine. You can set up uh, different indicators on the chart or different uh, you know, things that you look for for that. What I'm looking for is to scalp momentum fast, get in and out with a smaller size, give myself a cushion. And a lot of times within uh, the first five, 10 minutes of the morning, I go ahead and scale out of most of my position and maybe I can leave a lottery or not. But 
it's tough for me to leave a lottery at 4 a.m. because uh, it's just early and I don't feel like babysitting my trade. So a lot of times I'll scale right out. And then when I get back on the computer at 7 a.m., then I'll open it back up and see uh, what I can find there. But so just to recap that, I, I, I have the chat here. I have the signals here and I have the uh, scanner here. The what what the one important thing that we're looking for or what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the scanners to correlate with the signals when I can see and this is on day high series and this these filters I have set for Benzinga um, I'll post the link above but these are all the momentum layout that I have you can mess with these you can lower it maybe I have under a dollar now I might have I think it's maybe I'm looking from 75 cents to uh, to maybe like twenty five dollars I think the float size I'm looking at is roughly around uh, 50 million or less, uh, uh, but you can increase that to 150 million, 300 million, whatever you prefer. But those are the moves I'm looking for. So, and these are the results that you'll see. So again, signals on the right correlate with the scanner on the left. And then I'm gonna go ahead on the left side to my Webull account. I'm gonna buy and sell with these buttons here. You can use, uh, you can use hotkeys with Webull. I don't use them often because I like to look at the chart first and really decide where I'm going to enter. You can add levels on the chart of where you want to buy, where you want to sell. So that's pretty handy as well. Um, and that's that's it. That's really my whole setup. So again, I'll pull this up at 4 a.m. This whole screen that you see here, I'm going to look at these names here to correlate together. And as long as I see something making highs and I can see that volume is actually coming in here and you can see I have the symbol price, volume, share flow, change from previous close, and then the change from the one minute. And again, I'm really looking at that change from one minute and then the volume. The share flow is important as well, but I already have it filtered. And I know that most of these stocks I'm looking at are in the, the flow range that I prefer. So uh, so that's it. So I have my Webull, I have my broker set up, my button set up in my account. I have my chat open for the guys over in the day train chat in Benzinga. And I also have my scanner tool and my signals tool. And down here I have the news feed for a little bit later on in the morning. Say I start watching a little bit later, maybe some PR comes out. But often it's not going to be press release around 4 a.m. in the morning. That's going to come a little later. So I'm not playing, playing it like breaking news. I'm actually playing break of highs on momentum. And I'm just looking to scalp. So I'm not looking for a high percentage. I don't often have support resistance mapped out that fast to know uh, what I'm looking for for uh, for targets, I'll just scale out often when I feel comfortable with a uh, with a green cushion that I can start the day. So that's it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you guys staying to the end. If you have, make sure you hit that thumbs up um, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my new videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.